Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and get some coffee going here. I'm gonna get my 23.3 grams. I'm gonna tear this so it says zero. I'm gonna attempt to get 23.3. What was that? 22.8, turns out. We got 23.3 grams of coffee. And my coffee, I forgot to tell in the last video, is still the Ethiopia Sadama Karamo. So let me write that down. Ethiopia Sadama Karama. Sadamo Karama, I think. And so now I've got my coffee. Now I need to tear that and weigh my Clever Dripper. Uh, clean, dry Clever Dripper. And that's going to be, I'm getting 252.4. Let's move this over to the side here. 252.4 grams. Uh, massive clean dry coffee cup. And I'm going to make a note that I have the clean dry Clever Dripper without its base plate. So no base plate. Or no top plate either. And I, I have sort of a modified one here. Let's see, 150.9 is grams for my clean, dry coffee cup. Pretty close, let's see. Well, now I'm getting 252.7. And let me reweigh my coffee cup. Yep, it's going to zero each time. 151.0. I had 150.9 before. That is about right. right? We can expect in that last digit uh, a little bit of uh, uncertainty, even if we're weighing the same thing twice in a row. Let's see. So now put this back on. And yeah, a little bit of uncertainty there, but I'm not going to worry about it anymore. I'm going to get my filter in there. And put my filter in, weigh that. Two fifty four point two grams with my ground coffee. And uh, I've got my coffee here, and it's pretty clean. Put my coffee in, and for my coarse grounds, I'm going to do it for one second, best as I can for one second. Let's go ahead and plug that in. And I will be, as we saw, I, I shake the entire time that I'm grinding, so 1,001. Uh, and just to give you a look at what that looks like for mine, you can see some whole beans in there. Just one second, actually. Pretty coarse. <laughs> so coarse that we have some whole beans there. Let me go ahead and add my coffee. And mass now, 277.9 grams for me. And again, you can just see it in there. Pretty coarse, <laughs> very coarse. If not, I don't know what's beyond very coarse. Uh, massive clean wave. Oh, and so I've already preheated my water, uh, and I'm using an electric kettle because I'm down in my basement. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to heat it to boiling. Uh, heat it to boiling, and then I'm going to put it in a beaker. And I've got my temperature tester here. And these beakers has, uh, have a pour tip, and that pour tip is going to work well for us. So uh, Oh, and I've got my timer good. Just waiting for that to boil. There we go. And then I'm going to pour about 350 milliliters in here. 
because that should be my 350 grams. Very close to 350 grams, 350 milliliters, I mean. And now I'm just going to take my temperature of my water. And my temperature of my water is already 93 degrees. I was shooting for 94, but I'm going to take 93 since I just turned that thing on, and that seems about as high as it's going to get. So let's see, 277.9, that's still good. I'm going to start pouring this in. I'll start my timer. Good. And um, from this one and on, I am going to put a top piece on. So there is my, it's just a Tupperware piece, a piece of plastic, anything should work. That's going to keep heat in and keep the water at as much the same temperature as possible. Uh, I'm going to write down that my actual temperature uh, was 93 degrees and my actual mass 646.2 after I added my water. Uh, good. And now we just have to wait three minutes. So I'm going to stop the video and we'll come back.